Hello, it's so good to be with you for this uh, mission conference and have an opportunity to say a little bit about the work that we're doing here in the Diocese of Atlanta. I'm Dr. Katherine Meeks. I'm the Executive Director of the Absalom Jones Center for Racial Healing located in Atlanta, Georgia. The center is a resource for the entire Episcopal Church and we are going to be celebrating our fifth anniversary this October and we have had the grand opportunity to work with uh, about 65 of the dioceses in the Episcopal Communion thus far. It has been an amazing four and a half years for us as we have imagined this work and um, organized programs and pilgrimages and engaged in consultations and listening to people as they um, work to tease out the ways ahead for themselves so that they can do their mission work in the best ways possible, particularly around the issue of racial healing. I've had the distinct pleasure of being able to work with Reverend Connie Sanchez in Honduras and Ms. Patricia Martin in the Dominican Republic and the Reverend uh, Glenda McQueen, who's on the presiding bishop staff and located in Panama, and other women who have uh, become engaged in the work as we have moved along, whose names I won't list here. But the work has been so in, emboldening and inspiring and uh, just absolutely delightful of the most of what we have done thus far is worked on talking about issues that really confront us as sisters in both uh, North America and the other parts of the world. It's been such a good experience for us to have the opportunity to listen to all of our uh, sisters who've been able to show up at the two women's conferences that we have hosted as a center to talk about empowerment issues and the ways in which women can do things to help themselves to have a, a better life uh, on this planet. We are still very interested at the Absalom Jones Center in finding ways to build deep partnerships across the many dividing lines that have been artificially constructed to keep us separated from each other as God's beloved children. And so we are always reaching out to people across the globe to say, tell us what you're doing, help us know how we can best help you, and if there's anything we can do, we will definitely try to do it. We have a very um, wonderful website that's filled with many materials relating to the issues of race and racial healing, and I would invite you to go to Center for Racial Healing on online in order to access that website and to subscribe to anything there that uh, is of interest to you and to take any uh, ideas, programs, or whatever that you find there that might be helpful, take those to be used as well. In addition to offering our website and offering ourselves as best we know how to help engage in the long journey up the hill to healing, on this planet and trying to figure out how we can build a world that can sustain life and be open to life in ways that we are now getting close to turning far and farther away from. So one of the things that I would hope that would come out of your hearing me here in this little video would be that you might reach out to us and, and let's have a conversation. Let's talk about ways that we can be collaborative, ways that we can support one another. We have, we're all in this together. We are one people across the globe needing to find a way to healing and the sustainable world where everybody is being treated like God's beloved child and everybody has access to the resources that they need in order to be the people that God has put them on the earth to be. Thank you again for inviting me to be a participant along with many others as you explore issues around mission. And really, I hope that you will all find as you have these conversations together and listen to what people have said to say that it is a lot easier 
to be braver as, as long as we remember that we're in this together and as we are willing to hold one another's hands. Many blessings to you.